push the red button. Okay. So this is the strap. I'm just going to pull out two seconds. Relax. Two seconds. Relax. So it's a minute. And then relax for a breath or so. And then do another minute. And then relax. And do another minute. Three minutes total. <coughs> And then, these are called knee pillow squeezes. So you're just gonna take this block and squeeze for two seconds and then relax. So you're not trying to break the block, you're just um, getting tension in your adductors. Squeeze and relax. Squeeze. Same thing, one minute, and then take a breath, and then continue. Two seconds on, two seconds off. <laughs> Next. Cheryl, you are going to do reverse presses. So you're here, and you're going to squeeze your shoulder blades together. Mm -hmm. Squeeze in, and then relax. Squeeze in, relax. 20 of those. Now I'm going to go a little bit out of, out of order. So this is the hip lift. So arms out, palms down, and you're going to crease your hips kind of, kind of to where you get a little space in your low back. Here, we're almost where you can fit your, fit your hand just a little bit and then crease your hips and pull from this hip flexor, like this. And you want to feel that tension in, in your hip, not in your quad. Once you feel in your quad, then your, your leg is probably too far down. Hinge, so that's one minute there. And switch sides, another minute. And then you're gonna re-switch, and this is called the hip crossover. So ankle over your knee, arms straight up, palms down, just gonna tip over to the side. Make sure your foot's flat and, and uh, planted. And uh, the trick to this, if there is one, is you want to plant your foot, squeeze your butt, and then open up your hip. So almost it's a, lifting? Almost, mm -hmm. yeah. You almost want to come up onto your hip to where your pelvis is upright. Mm -hmm. Almost. You don't want to get, you don't want to over-exaggerate it, but you'll, you'll feel it. And then, <clears throat> okay, so <clears throat> this one is the um, knee raise and uh, shoulder bridge. So you wanna get your heels, just your heels on the floor, toes straight up, hinge at, at your hips. So you're gonna crease your, your, uh, your hips where you can get a little bit of space in your low back and then lift up, squeezing the block and keeping your feet at even width apart. So when you do this, you don't wanna touch your feet together. You wanna keep them knee width apart as you're doing this. That's 10 times. You're just going to tap your heels. Just set it down just real nice and easy. And then you're going to reach down, reach your fingertips to your heels, squeeze that block, and lift up. So you're squeezing and pushing your knees out away from you so it opens up your, your hip creases. And then go back. That's a, you're going to work up to, you're going to go from 30 seconds and work your way up to a minute with that. Okay? And then back to this one. 10 times. Lift. And then back to 30, 30 to 45 seconds is probably plenty with this one. Just holding it. With holding it up, yes. <clears throat> okay, this is, I call it the, the floor angel or the carpet angel. So you're gonna put your right um, ankle of your left knee and you tip and you're gonna keep your, your shoulders on the floor and then do, keep your elbow where it's at. I'll tip this way so you can see. <clears throat> so if you, Tip towards the right, you're going to do your left shoulder. If you tip towards your left, you're going to do your right shoulder. And this elbow in one spot, you can touch your head, keep your elbow there. Back and forth. That's a good one. Carpet angels. <laughs> they get really brave and good in the snow. Go ahead and push that button. Can you see me? Mm -hmm. Can you see me against the wall? Okay. Yes. Okay, so with your, um, you want to get your heels as close, you can even do it up against the wall where you can get your heels up against the, where the door hits the floor. Here. I'm not going to be able to go all the way <laughs> yeah, up, but you guys remember this one. So you want to get in contact, heels, butt, shoulders, and head up against the wall and slide your elbows and wrists all the way up until you can touch your hands. You want to get to a point where you can touch your hands 
here, and in a different version, you can switch back and forth. It is on the floor with your feet together, bottoms of your feet together. And, and the same thing. So your knees get pushed down to the floor as you lift up. So it works on stretching your groin and your shoulders at the same time. So I'm pushing my knees down as I'm lifting my arms. As I come back down, I relax my knees. Relax, and then I push down as I'm raising. It kind of pushes you down as you mm -hmm. raise your, your arms, so you get used to pulling your shoulders away from your ears as you do that. That's a really good one. Yeah, that's good, because yeah, <coughs> see where you push down. Heine, mm -hmm. I want you to do with these. You're gonna start out with your heels on top of the, so I only had you do with your toes elevated. Um, this, uh, when, I, when you do it normally, you're gonna start out with your heels elevated here, and you're gonna reach down, come back up, squeezing the block, reach to 10 times, and just flip it around to where your toes are elevated. Squeeze the block, go down, touch. And make sure you stand all the way up to where you open up your hips. Down, come back up 10 times, and then step off to where your feet are flat. And come back up, squeezing the block yourself. Tired already. <laughs> okay, um, box squat. You're gonna have a box behind you, and then reach back, touch the block, and come back up. You can do it either with your hands up with the like an overhead squat, or just starting out. Um, make sure your knees don't come over your toes. So don't squat in here, squat with your hips back. And, okay, walk out. <clears throat> Toe touch, walk out. Try not to sway your hips to your forearms. Back up. Or the walk out to a push up. Push up. Come back up. Um, Cheryl, I want you to concentrate on your planks, both planks. So, oops. Plank with your um, hands underneath your shoulders, and you're going to lean out over your fingertips and then get into your plank. So, don't start your plank back here. You're sitting back mm -hmm. like that. You want to start it like this, and then just and then go lift. and lift. So you're up over your your fingertips, um, and then you plank this way. While I'm here, side plank. Stack your feet. Get you to where your hip is is um, open, and you don't want to um, flat or um, um, crease your hips. You want your hips open. Straight up, back down ten times. Okay, so that is the warm up. You can click that button again. <laughs> <laughs>